Hi everyone, my name is Shiddhi and in this video I am going to talk about how you can remove background in Photoshop. So now let's get started. So first you want to go and uh, open Photoshop. Okay, so this is what we have open right here. So there are quite some ways that you can remove uh, your background in Photoshop. For the first one, I'm going to show you this, uh, er this eraser tool. It is called the background eraser tool and it is actually called the background eraser tool. But uh, it did work for me uh, when I first started using it, but I just don't know why it doesn't work for me anymore. It might work for you. Uh, it is this tool. It, it literally says background eraser tool. So you can go here and it actually erases the background and i don't know why it just starts erasing the this person right here too um it's just erases the whole thing for me so it's basically just equal to the normal eraser that is why i don't use it anymore so now let's move on to the next thing how you can remove uh, backgrounds in photoshop so um this eraser tool was the first uh, was the only tool in which you can preserve the like little small hair right there like um, you can see right there how thin hair there is this you cannot preserve using the pen tool or any other tool selection tool that you might be using in photoshop um, so uh, for doing that you will need this eraser tool the background eraser tool so now um, let's move on to how you can do it using the pen tool so for some people the pen tool might be a little weird because when you do uh, something like that it, it happens something like that and uh, yeah it's uh, really a bit weird and uh, i did get frustrated with it when i first started doing it but uh, this is how you can do it very easily so this tool uh, when you do this and it do, does this basically the reason this is for is to make curves so like you can see it's like curving and really curving or about in there so i don't really want any curves so this might take you quite a while to do so yeah let me do this and i'm going to fast forward this part So now as you can see I have selected this whole um, this whole picture of this person. It did took quite a while to do this and as you can see it is completely selected. Now it is not completely selected yet so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click and um, make selection as you can see right here. Just press ok and as you can see it will, it will, it will select the portion that you have selected. So now what you can do is go to the eraser tool, not at the background eraser tool, go to the eraser tool. Okay, so don't do that. I'm going to make another layer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this layer with the layer that is below it. So I'm going to go here and um, the right click on there and merge down. So now you can see that layer is turned into a normal layer. So now you can erase properly whatever you want to erase. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go here and erase. Okay, so now it is inversed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select and inverse. So it is going to select the background so you can erase very easily the background. So this was very easy, right? Um, but the, the only thing uh, that was hard to do here was uh, was doing the selection and it can be done pretty quick if you have a picture that doesn't that isn't this big so as you can see the background is removed so now as you can see this is selected right here so I'm going to unlock this layer it was actually a locked layer because it was the background layer so I'm going to take this transparent layer that you see right there down and I'm gonna go right click and merge down so now when I try to erase it is going to show this styled something right there it basically means that it is transparent and there you go here is the transparent background 
yeah so this is the most easiest way that i know how to do this so now as you can see i have opened this picture once again in photoshop so the other way that i'm going to tell you how to do it is to buy using the magnetic lasso tool so what this basically does is it kind of um, it gets attracted to the color that is uh, right there so uh, her hair is brown so it's going to stick to the brown portion uh, so i think this is a very easy way to do this but it can it might happen that sometimes it might not work for you so you can do the other way using the pen tool that i just told you okay that is what i was trying to tell you guys it can sometimes get really bad like i just like took it took the cursor there and it kind of did that so like as you can see i'm not doing anything and it's just getting stuck to the person right here the better way to do this is the using the pen tool but if you want a very quick and easy way to do this is then you can use the magnetic lasso tool and as you can see the background is removed i did not select it very nicely and that is why it is not that good but you can do this pretty good so um yeah that's it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel bye